Hey guys, today we are making sriracha chicken burgers. We're going to start off with one pound of ground chicken, seasoned with salt and pepper, as well as three quarter cup of breadcrumbs, a handful of cilantro, so about a half a cup of uh, chopped up cilantro, as well as a quarter of a small onion chopped up, one green onion that I've also just roughly chopped up, and about three to three cloves of garlic also roughly chopped up. Also going to need a little bit of sriracha for this part of the burger. And for topping, two tablespoons of mayo as well as two tablespoons of sriracha sauce. And you're also going to need some lettuce, tomatoes, cabbage, whatever your heart's desire to put on top of your burger. You can put cheese, you can put bacon, you can put coleslaw would be amazing on top of this as well. So let's go ahead and start putting this whole thing together, shall we? We're going to start off with our seasonings, which is the... You know, this mantra, the onion, and all that. We're going to place this into a blender cup. Just going to go ahead and place all that into a blender cup. And then we're going to add in about a tablespoon and a half or so of a sriracha sauce into it. Go there. Now, this is so delicious. It's really, like, it has a little bit of spice to it. It's got all these great flavors. We're going to put on our cover, and we're going to blend this up. There's my ground chicken, seasoned with salt and pepper already. I'm just going to take my little mixture that we blended up there and put it into my chicken. Go ahead and just dump all that goodness in there. Tons of flavor in that little bit of sauce. I'm going to mix this all around, and then we're just going to add in our breadcrumbs. I'm using three-quarter cup of breadcrumbs for this. I'm not using any egg to bind it. I'm just using the breadcrumbs to bind it. And then we're going to start taking a little about maybe a tablespoon and a half amount again, or two tablespoon amount, into my hand, roll it into a ball, and then flatten them down to make a little patty. Place it on my plate. I'm just going to keep on chugging along till I finish up all of these burgers. Go ahead and roll them into a ball, and then flatten them down with your hand. Now that we got them all done, I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of vegetable oil into my skillet on medium heat and place about three patties in. Don't want to overcrowd the pan. And I'm going to let these cook for about four to five minutes on each side. I'm going to cover it to make sure that it's fully cooked through on all the way inside of the patty. And that's it. Just finish it up. Finish all the batches. It's going to get a nice little golden brown on top. And it's going to be delicious. Now to put the burger together, I have my patty on my bun, and I'm just going to mix together my mayo and my sriracha sauce. And then, of course, you can top this with whatever you want. It's your burger. I'm just going to take a little bit of this sauce and paste it on top of my bun. And then just go ahead with my tomatoes. I love cabbage on it. I love lettuce. I love all sorts of great things on it. You could put cheese. You can even melt some cheese on the patty if you want. It's your burger completely whatever you want, and I'm just going to finish it up with just a simple lettuce and tomatoes today and give it a bite, and it is juicy. The sriracha runs through it. The flavors are amazing. It is fan diddly tastic, guys. Got to give you a thumbs up even while I'm taking a bite because it is really, really great. It's really delicious, really, really simple. I mean, it doesn't take long to put together at all, and it's fantastic. The flavors are perfection. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.